Good morning, kiddos. This is Grandma Lois. A few years ago, when I was in a church in Louisiana, I sat down and put on cassette Bible stories for kids. We sold a lot of them. My brother Norman, his son-in-law and wife, put them on CDs. So I have a CD here, and I'm going to play. And at that time, my name was Clarine Baird. I was married to number one. And now my name is Lois Baird Rice. But you know, I'm 90 years old and I tell Bible stories. So this is not only for the kids, but for the teenagers and grown-ups and grandmas and grandpas, because it's true Bible stories that I know that I've studied my whole life. So listen now to Clarine Baird tell Bible stories to you sweet kids, and I'll sit here and listen with you and have my coffee. How's that? Here we go. I'm starting it now, and it's it's really good Bible stories starting with the Old Testament first. Hi there. This is Clarine Baird, and I want to tell you all the story of Noah. Noah was a Bible man back in the days before Jesus was ever born. Noah was a good man and he was a man that God loved very much and he lived long long ago he lived before even it had ever rained you know once upon a time upon the earth it didn't rain all we had was dew you know like of the morning there's dew out on the grass and and you can go out and you can uh, put your toes in it and it's just kind of wet on the grass well that's dew and at the time that Noah lived the only thing that had ever happened on the earth was dew had fallen and it had never rained. Well, Noah was a man of God, and he loved the Lord with all of his heart. But there was lots of men and women upon the earth, and they didn't love God, and they were very wicked, and they were mean, and they were ugly, and they shame. Were oh, my. They were not nice, and they didn't love God. So God began to talk to Noah, and he told Noah, he said, Noah, I want you to build a boat. And I want you to bring all the animals upon it. And I want it to be real big. I want it to be 75 feet wide, 45 feet high, and 450 feet long. Now that is a big boat. They called it an ark. So it was going to be made out of cypress wood, and it's going to have lots of rooms in it. And I want you to, to make it so that it, water will not come through the walls. You just put a lot of tar on it and pitch on it so that water won't come through and then it's going to rain and you put a roof on it and finish it and I'm going to put the door on it and close it and I want you to bring all the animals of the world I want you to bring uh, the mamas and the daddies of all kinds uh, the birds and the worms and everything I want you to bring them and put them all on the ark because it's going to rain a long long time it's going to rain 40 days and 40 nights and I don't want anything to happen to you because you're a good man and you're not wicked and you're not bad and your wife is a good woman and you've got three good sons and they've got three good wives and I'm not going to destroy them. But no, I'm telling you, get busy and build this ark and I'm going to save you and your wife and your sons and their daughters. And Noah said, okay, God, okay, that's God. what I'm going to do. So he got busy and he started building and building building and it got bigger and bigger and his sons was helping him and all the people were laughing they'd say <laughs> what's the matter with that crazy old man it's never rained what's rain it's not we've never seen nothing except do it's never rained a whole lot and he says it's gonna rain well we're not worried no and they weren't a bit worried and they just laughed and made fun of noah and that wasn't nice but Noah was a good man, and he was going to obey God no matter what happened. He was going to do what God told him to do. So he just kept on building his ark. And so God says, now I'm going to send rain for 40 days and 40 nights. And you you get all these animals and put them on. He said, because I'm going to, God says, I'm going to wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I ever made because I'm just they're just wicked, and I'm not going to have them anymore. No more. So Noah and, and his sons and his wife and, and their wives and all the animals started getting right on the boat just like God had commanded Noah. They went and got on this big ark. And so after seven days, the floodwaters and it came to the earth and it rained and it rained. 
and Noah was 600 years old at that time. Wow. So it just kept on raining and raining, and for 40 days, the, the rain just kept falling down on the earth, and the boat just started to float. And oh my, all those wicked people, all those bad people, God just let them be wiped right off the earth. And all the mountains were even covered. It rained so much. The waters rose and it covered the mountains even 20 feet. They were underneath. And everything that moved on the earth was killed. All the birds and all the wild animals and all the creatures because God says, I am destroying them. And he didn't want any wickedness in the world. He only wanted good animals and, and good people. So everything that was on dry land that had breath of life in it, it just died. And every living thing on the earth was wiped out. All the men and all the animals were Everybody. wiped out. They were wicked. And only Noah was left and his wife. They and, were good. And his three sons and their three daughters. And it, it, the, the earth was covered with all this water for 150 days. That's right. And that's a long time. But God remembered Noah and all the wild animals and the livestock that were in the ark, and he loved them. So He, God sent a wind over the earth, and the water started to dry up. And, and the floodgates of heaven stopped, and it quit raining. And the water started going down, and it went down, and it went down, and it was drying up. And at the end of 150 days, the water went down. And on the 17th day of the seventh month, the ark came to rest up on a big mountain, and this big mountain's name was Ariat. And this is where the, the ark had just stopped, right there on the top of Mount Ariat. And the waters continued to just dry up, and they stayed there for 10 whole months. That's a long time. And the first day of the 10th month, the tops of the mountains began, you could just see a little bit sticking out of the earth, and the waters was going down. So after 40 days, Noah opened the window, and he had made a window in the ark, so he opened up this window, and he says, Wife, he says, I'm going to send out a little raven and, and see what happens. So he sent this little raven out, and it just kept flying back and forth and back and forth, and it just flew all around and till the earth was dry. It was all getting dry, but you know what? It had to come back because... There wasn't really enough place for it to set his no. foot down. So Noah, he waited another while. And so he waited seven more days. And then again, he sent a little dove. This time he sent a little dove out from the ark. And this little dove, it went out and it flew around, it flew around. Noah was waiting, waiting. Would the dove come back? Well, he didn't know. Mm -hmm. But he just kept waiting to see if the dove would come back. And sure enough, guess what? The dove came yeah. back. And you know what it had in its little mouth? It had a little green olive leaf in its mouth. So Noah says, Aha, now we can stop and we can find dry land. So then God spoke to Noah again and he said, Noah, come out of the ark. You and your wife and your sons and your daughters-in-laws, bring out all those creatures that are in the ark with you all the animals let them come upon the earth again and let them have babies and multiply the earth so that we may have many good animals and good people upon the earth again so noah said okay god okay. i'm gonna do it so noah came out with his sons and his wife and their daughters and all the animals all the creatures that move along the ground and all the birds and everything they came right on out of the ark, and they were so happy. The sun was shining. It was beautiful. It was a beautiful day. And God was very pleased with Noah because Noah had done what God wanted him to do. And Noah was so thankful to God for saving him and his wife yes, he and was. his sons and his daughter-in-laws. Noah was so thankful. He, he just... He was so thankful he built an altar to God where he could thank him. You know, he just wanted to get up on his knees and thank God. So Noah built an altar, and he, he sacrificed burnt offerings on it. And the Lord smelled these burnt offerings up in heaven. And they, they just pleased God so much that Noah would build an altar and thank God. God was so happy with this that he said to Noah, he said, Noah, this 
this is a promise to you. As long as the earth lasts, when you plant and when you harvest, in the wintertime and in the springtime, in the dry and in the night, this promise will never, never end. My promise to you is that this earth is given into your hands and you must multiply and have lots of children. But I'm going to put a sign in the sky and Noah looked up and uh, he saw beautiful colors. And you know what those beautiful colors were? Yes, you know what they were? It was a rainbow. God had put a rainbow in the sky. And he said, Noah, when you see this rainbow and your children's children see this rainbow, never, never again will I destroy the earth with water again. I promise to you and to all your children and those that come after you that never will I destroy the earth by water again. There will never, never be a flood that will wipe everybody out. And Noah was so happy that God had did this. And he, God says, I've sent, the, I've sent this rainbow and I've set it in the clouds and it will be a sign and a promise between me and the earth. Whenever I bring clouds over the earth and rainbow appears on the clouds, I will remember this promise between me and you and all living creatures of every kind. Never again Never. will the waters become a flood to destroy your life. So whenever this rainbow appears in the clouds, I will see it and remember the everlasting promise between me and you because you're my children and I love you. This is my promise. And God was very happy with Noah, and Noah loved God and served God all of his life. And that's the end of the story of Noah. Did you like it? Okay, I'm going to... Did you like it? I said... Hi there. This is Clarine Baird, and I want to tell you all the story of Noah. Well, it started a little bit again, but that is the story of Noah. And I put that on cassette tape many years ago, about 1983. Those, that story is still true. And I want you kiddos to just listen to it. And you teens and adults, it's the story of Noah. And it's a good story. And I enjoyed telling it. And I enjoyed listening to it this morning. God is good. And I love y'all. It ran like 13 minutes you got time to listen to the story of Noah and listen to it. You probably, a lot of y'all probably never heard it because I got kids from TikTok and um, Instagram and they will just love it. So this is for all ages. God is for all ages and he gave his only son that we can have eternal life with him. There's going to be eternal life somewhere, kiddos. Let's make it with Jesus. So God bless you. I love you and walk that walk where Jesus would be pleased with you. And I love you. So I'll say bye-bye for today. And I'm going to tell another story another time tomorrow. I got quite a few stories. And I know you don't want to miss any. Bye-bye.